Hey, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? Look, I wanted to get on here real quick and share something with you. So, uh, you know, I've been talking to you about reaching your goals and facing your fears and those type of things, right? <laughs> I was thinking about um, what the word says about how God doesn't give us this um, spirit of fear. He doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind, right? So, but it's hard because you get all in your head about it and everything, right? So I follow Will Smith on Instagram. And so you see him in the past, like he's been out here, like facing all his fears, like skydiving and bungee jumping over the Grand Canyon. I don't know what's wrong with him, right? But doing all kind of crazy stuff, right? The things that make him afraid. So he's facing these fears head on, right? And just out here living his best life and like inspiring people all along the way, right? So you think about us, you think about you and how you have all these goals in your head and all these things that you want to do, but you get all trapped in your head. You get all paralyzed because you're thinking about what's not going to go right and what's going to go wrong and all this stuff, right? We have to realize that God didn't give us that spirit. You know what I mean? That that comes from us. Like we're the ones trapping ourselves in our head with all these negative thoughts, right? So we definitely got to cut out these negative thoughts. And so these negative thoughts, you know, sometimes they come from us, but sometimes they come from people in our lives, right? Because you're going to... For instance, let me give you an example. So with me, I grew up in a pretty much single family home. Uh, my mom, she had mental illnesses, and I didn't know that until well into my adulthood. But if you take that and you mix that with poverty and trying to raise three girls by yourself, you know, it's going to be a struggle, right? It's going to be some challenges, right? And so my mom had a way of being tough. She was hard on you. And, you know, sometimes she would say things that would kind of beat you up. And so um, growing up, you get that inside your head that, hey, I can't do things right. Um, it just crushes your self-esteem, right? But then growing up into adulthood, I realized that it's all about mindset, you know? So when people tell you who you are, you have a choice to believe them or you don't. Because if you think you can do something, you can. But if you think you can't do something, you can't, right? So it's all in what you believe. So it's all about that mindset, right? So growing up into adulthood, I realized I had the power to change the way that I thought about the things that I can do and the way that I saw myself, right? So you have that same power. So one of the things that helped me to uh, face some of these uh, challenges is that I do journaling, right? So do I journal every day? No, because she's not perfect. She don't journal every day, but she tries to, right? But I still have a ways to go. But anyway, I journal and I do words of affirmation. And so when I journal, I first start off with gratitude, right? That's basically what the book is about. <laughs> it's about gratitude because that's how I start. Because I want to let God know that I'm grateful for the things that he's done for me, right? However, comma, I know that he has more in store for me and that he can do uh, exceedingly, abundantly above all that I can ask or think, right? So, and then there's times where I give myself grace and I'm like, venting about it because I'm like, hey, what's happening up there? Like, what you doing? <laughs> Why are you moving so slow, right? But you have to be patient. But it's scary, <laughs> right? It's scary sometimes because once you start to speak these positive affirmations and you start to see things come into place, it's like, oh my God, like this is really working, right? And then so, but you got to be patient too, you know, because some things may happen quick and some may happen later but you got to remember that it's all on god's time right so you can't get discouraged so my uh my lesson for you is that you can change the way you think don't allow people who are trying to speak negative things over your life or tell you that you can't do something tell you that you can't do something right you have to prove them wrong and show them that everything that they think you can't do you absolutely can do okay and it's just a matter of how you think right so i encourage you i encourage you to like start journaling right and start writing down the promises that god has for you because if you're visualizing it it's for a reason it's not just to be sitting on and not doing anything about it right 
So, yeah. So, I hope to help somebody. But, uh, yeah, get to work. Because you got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. <laughs> okay? Bye.